All right, Gamma 1, Gamma 2, they're here, and they're to be feared. Let's check them out. Gotta go with the GOAT Gamma 2 first, bro. The best Gamma. Intro? Yo, why does this theme kind of sound like... Ooh! Super tech notification? Oh, these supers look fucking clean! Oh, they... <laughs> They're dropping ads for this like it's a worldwide. Dokkan's in their bag. Oh, and here's the unit info. They both got their own team. Alright, let's see what you got, Gamma 1. Oh, this is when he falls on the floor against Gohan. He even does the sprint. Oh my. Oh my god! Oh. Hold on. I want to see them in full, though. I want to see, like, everything. I want to see all of it, dude. Okay, so here are the units themselves. I'm really interested in these leader skills. Dude, again with the, with the crazy fucking leader skills here. Movie hero, androids, and special pose, and then accelerated battle and worthy rivals. Oh, the Gamma's leader skill is raw. No siblings bond. I know that was a debate in the community. Artificial life forms, accelerated battle. Okay, what, what is this one again? I'm, 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 I'm blanking a little bit. Categories are good too, though. I, I, it's the Gamma's. I didn't expect... Too much for them, but it looks like they also have worthy rivals. I did not think that was going to be the case. So AGL for uh, they'll, they'll probably be cute about it and go with STR for Gamma One. Yes, of course, very cute Dokkan. I respect it. Almost the same leader skill. Oh, but Gamma. It seems that Gamma One doesn't have the crazy. He doesn't have the crazy like a uh, triple leader skill and then double boost. Your artificial life form. Accelerated battle and worthy rivals. Wow, 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 wow. These leader skills are good. These leader skills are good. And they're definitely, I'll tell you what, these leader skills are also, here's what people will tell you. These leader skills are definitely tailored to orange Piccolo, man. This Piccolo, and they're definitely trying to get Piccolo on these Gamma teams. And I respect that. Thank you. Also, we managed to get AGL sell another 200% leader sell. Fucking go, dude. Let's check it out. All right, here are the full and here are the animations in full. Wait, oh yeah, and here's the here's the notification like I thought. Oh, that's raw. Nice. Here's a super attack. I get this combo against Piccolo. Ah, oh, ah! Oh. I did not expect to like the Gammas as much as I did going into Superhero Man. Long live, rest in peace, Gamma Two. No spoiler warning. If you haven't seen the movie by now, you probably don't even want to see it. Gamma One, Gamma One. Here we go. Oh, I love the metal clunks on, on the fist, man. That's good. There's Gohan. Ah, oh, they could have teased an awakening for the Gohan. He's got this. Well, he's got the same nullification. He just gets back up. Oh, it's a counter for him! To blast supers? Oh! Mm. The drag. Oh my god! Into the blaster? Raw. Fucking raw. Both of them absolutely that that was fire as fuck. Oh, and now we just gotta find out what they fucking do. Alright, so shout out to the homie Goresh, twitter.com slash Goresh X. The homie has hooked us up and we got the gamma one and the gamma two details. Let's get into it. So I already covered the the leader skills, uh just from being a fucking nerd and knowing everything about JP. But um Heroes Duty activates entrance animation upon entry. 
Attack plus 50% and guard activated against all attacks for four turns from the entrance animation activation. Tag and defense plus 150%, forgive me, it's five in the morning. Gain additional attack plus 100% when launching a super attack. Attack and defense plus 20 and damage reduction plus 10% for each attack received. Max of attack and defense plus 100 and damage reduction plus 50. Gain a medium chance to perform a critical hit for the rest of the battle after five more attacks have been received. All allies keep plus one and defense plus 30. Great chance of evading. Any super attack encounter with tremendous power. He's a fucking beast. He's a fucking beast. He's a beast. He's a beast. For once, it's always nice when Dokkan builds a unit and you can actually tell what they were going for. Like, obviously, those first four turns of guard is so that you can get hit, take no damage, and then guess what? When you come back and your guard's gone, you're still taking no damage because this guy has great stats. I, I'm not talking about the card stats. I actually didn't really pay attention to those. I need to go back and look at those. But talking about like his in-passive stats, the 150 defense, then the extra 100% defense from uh, from the stacking with getting hit on top of the 50% damage reduction, bro, he's, he's, he's tanking everything. He's tanking a lot of things, especially post-super because they do raise attack and defense one turn and cause immense. That seems to be similar between them. Both of them really don't have uh, a, a super attack effect. But here comes Gamma 2. Show me something. God, I love this dude. Activates the entrance animation upon entry only. Defense plus 50% and perform two additional attacks, each of which have a medium chance to become supers for four turns from the entrance sector. Okay. Attack and defense plus 150%. Gain an additional attack plus 100 when launching a super. Attack and defense plus 20%. Chance to perform a crit plus 10 for each attack before. First defense and chance to perform a crit plus 50. Perform an additional attack that has a great chance to become a super attack for the rest of the battle once five or more attacks have been performed. And all eyes keep plus two and attack plus 30. High chance to nullify key based super attacks aimed at this character. Now, why didn't they just give it to him? Uh, why didn't they just give it to him, bro? I, I, the Gamma 2 Copra and me wanted him to be better than Gamma 1, but it doesn't seem like that's what the devs wanted. He's good, though. Don't get me wrong, but crit chance, damage reduction. You know what I mean? Like, there's not really much we can uh, we can say about that. But no, oh, I'm so excited for these niggas to hit the game. Unfortunately, it's not a joint drop with Global, which means these banners are coming out at four in the fucking morning, which is just so so fucking fun. Love you, Dokkan, so much. Appreciate you. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. You guys in the video. If you need me, I'm simply just a Discord message away. It's a Signing off. Wish you guys a great rest of your night. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.